Welcome to this quick guide to the Nimitz class carriers in DCS World. There are several of these carriers available to choose from. We will start with the Stennis as it's included in the base game. The CVN 74 Stennis is capable of detecting bandits up to 16.2 nautical miles away with a detection altitude limit of approximately 75,000 feet or 23,000 meters. Its air-to-air -air radar is capable of locking bandits at 12.8 nautical miles, which is about 15 kilometers, up to 49,000 feet or about 15,000 meters. It can track up to four targets at any one time with one missile per bandit. In terms of aircraft operations, the Stennis can carry up to 19 parts aircraft at once with eight helicopter slots. It can operate all four catapults with two of them in parallel and the total aircraft limit available on the carrier is 72 aircraft. The CVN-71 Theodore Roosevelt, the CVN-73 George Washington, and the CVN-75 Harry S. Truman are all supercarrier modules. They have essentially the same capability as the Stennis, however, you can only use them if you buy the DLC. The placement of the onboard decorations will also differ from boat to boat. The CVN-72 Abraham Lincoln is very similar to these other three supercarrier module carriers. However, it has an ace up its sleeve, one additional Sea Whiz, and a wider engagement arc for the Sea Sparrow missiles. Finally, we have the CVN-70 Carl Vinson. This has a slightly shorter engagement range of 8.1 nautical miles, approximately 15 kilometers, an altitude limit of 38,000 feet, or about 11,500 meters, slightly reduced parking only 13 spots available with five helicopter spots however the total number of aircraft that can be carried is still 72. if you found this guide helpful then i would appreciate a like you can check out this video on how to set up your super carrier to make it look more dynamic thank you very much for watching and until next time i will see you in the skies